Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We met Morningstar in the last one, and we, well, put him out of his misery, the car, and we got a Doomsday weapon, which I would love to get on our car, but we can't do that right now. Now, we're going to find out if we're going to have to fight when we get out here, because we've killed a lot of these hardheads. But, no, nope, doesn't seem like it. All right, so... I guess let's try talking to fish lips. Don't waste my time, Rangers. Okay. One of your gang was planning on challenging you. We killed her. Uh, oh, yeah. you need my approval. It's fine. Now grow a pair. Well, we'll be on our way. All right, let's head back out to Colorado, and we'll head towards Denver. Now, we could really, really do with some... November 1, this is Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb says his mind's being attacked by, uh, Martians. Okay. Can you repeat that, HQ? Sound like it's just another Yutloon Martian? Oh no, not again. <laughs> uh, can you repeat that, HQ? I'd really rather not, November 1. <laughs> I don't blame you. The call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are, but could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulb fellow will be happy to tell you more. Over and out. Okay. I see. Interesting. Well, I suppose we'll head this way. Hopefully we find a trader or something on the way so that we can buy some, preferably some medical gear. Let's play a melancholy one now, okay? A song okay. about love, loss, and moving on. A song to touch the heart. Okay. Roadblock. As you enter a wooded ravine, something makes you slow the Kodiak. A movement? A noise? A flash of light? Maybe it was just a feeling, but the night seems darker now. The hairs rise on your neck. Uh, trust your instincts. Go cautiously. You crawl ahead in low gear, eyes darting everywhere. It gets darker and darker. After a tight turn, your headlights flash across two big metal structures flanking the road. Structures? No robots. Another step behind steps behind the Kodiak. Their servos whine as they lock their guns on you. An employed voice amplified voice tells you to stop step out of the vehicle. You don't really have a choice. Okay. This doesn't seem good. And without medical equipment, we're pretty much screwed. We do have some, but not enough, I don't think. Not enough. Well, let's see what the, what this is all about. Ooh, Liberty Buchanan. All right. Light him up. Wow. Wow. And I thought Colorado trash was sad. You made a bad deal, Rangers. My father's using you for cannon fodder. Go back to Arizona before you take a bullet for him. The graves are cold up here. And on your way home, tell him to hire a better class of spy. Man. She is nasty. Damn, now we know why your father told us to bring you in. Put your hands up. That's some cold-blooded shit. We're taking you out here now. All right, we'll deliver the message. Um, I don't think we can take her on right now. Uh, all right, we'll deliver the message. Huh. Spoken like a true lap dog. Why do you want to overthrow your father? Okay, we're done here. You can go. We can't let you go. You're under arrest. We're too dangerous to live. We're taking you down. Uh, why do you want to overthrow your father? Because he's taking too long to die of natural causes. Oh. Colorado will die before he does if someone with some vision doesn't take control ASAP. 
And that's not either of my brothers. True family love there. Whoa. Ha! I can see you haven't met him. Vic's a depraved child, and Val's a brain without a spine. I wouldn't trust either one to run a mess tent, let alone a country. To think of all the years my father wasted grooming them for glory when I was right there. God. Okay. You think your father is killing Colorado? What else should we know about Victor? What, uh, tell us more about Valor. Okay, we're done here. You can go. Okay, uh, you think your father is killing Colorado? Are you blind? He's letting a crazy cowboy cult control our oil production. Our main trading hub is run by a bunch of idiots and monster masts. All that should have been state-run ages ago. We... Ugh, why am I arguing policy with a bunch of gun jockeys? The point is, my father has Colorado in the palm of his hand, and he's afraid to close his fist. I am not. Okay. What else should we know about Victor? Shoot him before he talks. Your sanity will thank you, and you'll be doing Colorado a favor. Not that it'll well, be easy getting to him. He's got his followers hooked on some kind of hypno-happy gas. They'll do anything for him, including die. Okay. Uh, tell us more about Valor, then. The sooner he dies, the better for Colorado. He's the perfect puppet for some usurper, like the Gippers, to put on my father's throne and claim he's the legitimate heir. Of course, killing him would piss Daddy off, and you ass-kissers wouldn't want that. Might be the only way to get him out of Denver, though. Those Gippers got their hooks in him deep. Okay. Well, we, we, we're not going to fight her, because I think she is probably the more dangerous of the three. So, okay, we're done here. You can go. Ha! Thank you for your permission. You're welcome. Squad, roll out. Okay, she seems really, really dangerous. The brainwave destabilizer uses microwaves to scramble the target's neural pathways. We really need to start using our uh, weird shit, um, uh, weird science, sorry, uh, weapons, like the brainwave destabilizer, because we have that, don't we? Uh, did I give it to someone already? Well, who is it that has... I think we have a brainwave destabilizer somewhere. I feel like we do. Maybe not. Survival plus one. We have the sonic emitter. Don't we have a brainwave destabilizer? Did I sell it? No. Oh, there it is. Brainwave destabilizer. And it takes weird science. So that would be you. All right, let's give you that for now, though. I really don't want to... I want the... A cool rifle as well. Nah, I guess we'll uh, we'll switch when needed. All right, let's keep going. Hey, traveler. There's Why Denver. Visit Denver, the cultural center of Green Colorado. Warning. Dangers of Denver include hostile wildlife, scavenging thugs, Reagan worshipping fascists, rusty nails collapsing buildings, and background radiation. Denver, oh. the jewel of the north. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful place. Uh, I guess we'll go into Denver first, and then head to the Tellurium Mine. Tellurium Mine, I don't know what Tellurium is. Uh, let's go to Denver Ruins. Denver na is named after former Kansas Territorial Governor James W. Denver. Okay, I was not aware of that. All right, the statue looks pretty darn cool. All right, well, we're in Denver. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere. Trial is in sessions. Okay. 
At ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. That's right. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. God President Reagan's America. Not Joe. Uh, um, let's try kiss ass. Uh, well, let's take care of business first, then we'll get out, out of your hair. We don't care about your justice hand over valor or kiss ass. We respectfully request an audience with the God President to negotiate on behalf of the Patriarch. Let's try that. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? <laughs> Ronnie? <laughs> yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. What? The statue moves and talks. Whoa, it talks. Yeah. Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Not jobs upon all of them. They're all nut jobs. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? You let a talking statue decide people's fates? That's not like any American justice we know. Is this some kind of wizard of Oz thing? Is there a guy in there making it talk? There Let's is try that. no one in there but God President Reagan. Now please, no oh, further didn't like that. The okay. other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Oh, Ronald won't appreciate a communist robot being there, that's for sure. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy and I entered your lands to heal the injured humans it is irrelevant whether one is communist Reagan will communist. agree with that communist yeah he didn't agree As for the hippie, no one can be denied the promise that is well America let's give her a second chance Go and uh, sin no more. <laughs> Fools! The gods of the sky will devour you. Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. That seemed like it should have been the other way around. But matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the Shining City on the Hill. I guess they're all called Nancy, all the women. Nancy Reagan. Uh, nice work blowing up that robot. That's what those rust buckets deserve. So why did you kill the helpful robot and not the psycho who's going to skew your commando? Reagan's justice was impressive. Where could we get a weapon like that? Okay, uh, I'm going to ask them why they killed the helpful robot. Though I know, because they said it was communist. First of all, I didn't kill it. Ronnie did. Second, the will of the God President is not to be questioned. If he spares one sinner and not another, there must be a reason. Now, okay. if you still want to discuss Valor Buchanan, come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We will receive you in the sacred server room. Okay. Good day. Let's take a quick look at that mission log. Uh, Reagan reborn. Attend an audience with the God President inside the Western White House in the LinkedIn rooms. Uh, okay, and the seer lot. Extract the cannon from the Western White House in the Denver ruins. Okay. Uh, so after a show trial involving God for General into their stronghold for an audience with Reagan. Okay. Okay. Well before we do that, I think we should have a look around. There's a machine turret, skipper mechanic, sister glory. Uh, K 
Give her drafty, give her mechanic. Is there something down here? There's something down here. Let's check this down here up. Make it to rain gently upon us. That's a godfisher. Our enemies with hail. Gods of the clouds and winds, no outsiders. Okay, so the godfishers are here, I guess. Godfisher keeper. Insolent fools! Did no one teach you to knock? Uh, all will end in blood and rain. Are you sure about that? Steal from us, heathens! We'll take it back when we skin you! Oh, yeah. Okay, so the god are the godfishers down here, I guess? This is their area? What? Godfisher harvester. Oh, there's more down here. This is a pretty big place. Godfisher watcher and a safe. Open. Material possessions mean nothing. It will. Have Thank you. Mm, pretty nice hole. What's up here? And we're back with big news. It seems that the infamous Desert Rangers have arrived in Denver. Stay tuned for more developments. Wait, is infamous the bad one? They always forget. <coughs> Strike down those who stand against us with thy divine lightning. Oh. We're gonna, just gonna grab everything, okay? What comes after? Serious considerations on what is to come after the apocalypse, okay? You ever wonder, like, what you do if the world ended? You mean, like, some kind of apocalypse or something? Yeah. Like, the world explodes? Civilization collapses. What do you do? I mean, obviously, you gotta grab the planetary fragments that give you the best chance of survival. Obviously. But which ones? Like, do you start with one that's got a bunker on it, or go for one that's got a lot of water? Nah, man. You okay, how do we get in there? Big. Go for the fragments that still got, like, Nukes and shit. Then you can conquer everyone else's fragments and take their stuff. Mm. Whoa, that's pretty hardcore. Post apocalypse ain't for the weak, man. Hope of your forbearance. Hmm. I wonder how we get in there. Was there something that can explode somewhere? Well, there's something there, but I don't think that'll take that out. Seek, seek peace and prosper through strength. We might be able to shoot down this wall or something. Uh, let's try it. Yeah, we we're able to shoot down that wall. Alright, let's see what's in there. Nice. Optical spectrometer utility. This sensor analyzes light frequencies around the user, making it easier to spot fine details and hidden objects. Per perception plus four? Wow, that's nice. That is nice. We should really give that to someone, shouldn't we? I wonder if we're going to be fighting the godfishers. Uh, we probably are, right? Mm, there's one of their kites. With a poor bastard strapped to it. Look at that. That is just brutal. And then there are a couple of goats here. Well, we already have our own goat, don't we? I guess this is one of them is ours, I think.
No, there's there are is is. Uh, now we already checked in here. All right, and now we're back over here at the God President. Okay. Did we check everything down this way? There's more over there. Um, let's go check everything out here before we go. What? What's this? I mean, there's something interesting here, according to the map. Denver Blast Crater, okay. And then we have here, West Ruins, East Ruins. Gods of the clouds and winds, accept our unworthy gifts of warm flesh. Strike down those who stand against us with thy divine... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Gods of the sky, it doesn't seem like there's anything up here. Alright. There's something over here. Skippers. What's in here? Let's repair that generator. That'll kill that ice block, I guess. Yep. New well. The oil. oil been there for a million years. It ain't going anywhere. Cap the well, and I'll forget about your brief crisis of faith in our sacred leadership. Understood. I I don't really see what it was good for removing that ice wall. Uh, subsystem three. Terminal three of three. Temperature warning. Low power mode. Engage to avoid hardware damage. Please defrost frost heat heating elements. Upgrading this terminal could increase the Reagan statue's combat effectiveness. Sabotaging it could damage or destroy the statue. Systems operational. Low power mode on. Self-destruct mode off. Uh, I think we'll step away for now. I will, will probably want to self-destruct the statue at some point. But not right now. What's this? Uh, nice power, let's repair that. I don't know if we're going about this the wrong way or, or, or what. Who's that? Make it to rain gently upon us, but batter our enemies with hail. Gods of the sky, we fly these morsels to you in hope of your forbearance. Strike More down those who stand against us with thy divine lightning. Oh, Are these gods, the heathens miss the birds? Spirit, it is given. This is a no huge area. With thy mighty then your airport up here. Let's go check it out. Okay, so there's a uh, something to get to Denver Air Airport. We're not going to do that yet. There's another one of their nasty kites. Gas pump. Let's move down here and see if there's anything. Doesn't seem like it. Is is that something that we can know? Strike down those who stand against us with thy divine lightning. 
gods of the endless sky, accept these holy offerings. Blow away our foes with thy mighty right now. On the entrails of the slain, oh gods, make it to rain gently upon us. But okay, I have no freaking idea what's going on here. Gods of the can we get up top here? It seems like we can. Maybe not. Alright, I don't see anything else here. So I guess we'll. Uh, Head over here. I guess this is the White House. The second coming. Just gotta pray harder. Don't keep the God President waiting, Rangers. Oh, we won't. We won't. At the north end of the building, in the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Uh, I wish ooh. I could get an audience with There's the God President. Someone we can trade with there. Might we be able to get some medical gear, please? A squat bulldog of a woman wipes her hands with an oil stained cloth. Her work belt is overloaded with ghoul tools hey and there, guns. Friends. Sister Nancy Forge, Ronnie's fourth wife. And his armorer. Made all our guns, armor, explosives, and that commie killing Ronnie statue out on our front porch. Okay. Statue's amazing. How did you make the weapons so powerful? Impressive. Pretty full of yourself, aren't you? Well, let's do weapon modding. Trade secret. Meaning I won't sell it, and you couldn't afford it if I did. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate the compliment, though. Thank you. Anyway, I'm the traitor here on top of everything else. You need something? I might have it. And if I don't, <laughs> you probably don't need it. Uh, what made you choose this trade? How'd you build this, that statue anyway? I have to say, you do some fine work here. Let's see what you got for sale. What made you choose to Ronnie called choose this trade? One of his spells way back when I was a girl. She has hands of iron for forging steel, he said. When okay. a god tells you your trade, you best listen. How did you build that statue anyway? Blood, sweat, and tears, friend. Blood, sweat, and tears. Scavenged and smelted the plating myself. Hand ground the laser lenses. And spent a year wrapping the wiring. Also hunted and killed 30 or so scar collectors because I had some parts I needed. Steel, servos, and such. More than a few of the statue's bits and bobs have blood on them. A fitting tribute to America's fighting president, right? That's really impressive. You love the statue so much. Why don't you marry it? Oh. I did. Have to say, you do some fine work here. Well, now, kind of you to say so. What did you like best about it? Nerd stuff. So the AI inside remote controls the statue outside, and it's a defense system. Impressive. You give us an outfitter with some pre impressive gear, nothing in particular. You just do fine work. I'll do ner nerd stuff here. <laughs> Wasn't easy. Months of coding the connection to Ronnie. About a hundred miles of cable. And the testing was a nightmare. <sighs> Worth it in the end, though, if I do say so myself. And you do. <laughs> that reminds me. I got some leftovers from that job taking up valuable space. It's yours if you want it. Sure, thanks. Make sure you put that to good use, Rangers. Uh, let's see what you've sure. got for sale. Have a look. No medical gear, I'm guessing. Chemtech chest. Weird science six, strength four. So that's the same as the helmet that we have on one of the guys. I guess. Armor plus sixteen. Nice. And I want that. It's 1380 though. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to sell my junk because we don't need to buy anything right here from her. Necessarily. I, I would like the chest. Don't get me wrong. 
Uh, she who has weird science. And she doesn't have the strength anyway. Got some pretty nice uh, mods here that we should put on something. Hmm. Hmm. Why do we have tank armor that is not in use? Didn't I put it on someone? We don't want to buy anything from her. Um, let's see, the tank armor here. No, you couldn't use it. No, we put that thing on you. Uh, you have tank armor, and you have tank armor. And we have another set of tank armor that we can use. Or was it her who had that? No, it was her who had that. Stupid me. Now, we have the aviators there, and then we have a weird science thing, nerd stuff. Okay. Oh, dude, did we need ammo? What happened? Where? Why, why did it go out here? We might need ammo, actually. Let's just take a look. Ammo. We could do with some 762 rounds. We have 556. Uh, yeah, some 762 rounds would be nice. I don't think we use 30 odd ammo. Yeah, we do on her. But she doesn't use a whole lot, so. I think we have enough. Yeah, so let's uh, what? stop doing that. Let's talk to her again. Welcome back, Rangers. What do you need? Uh, let's see sure. what we've got for have sale. We want some 762 ammo, and we want quite a lot of it. Let's buy. Let's say 200. I think we have enough of everything else. What ammo does his weapon use? Uh, Seuss's. It uses 762. Alright, so fine. Right, so, oh, uh, is there anything in here? There's a chest. I'm guessing that we it won't be appreciated that we open that. Oh, don't care. Book of Bonzo. My fellow American. Well, turn with me now to the book of Bonzo. Chapter 12, verse 1. Blessed are the job creators for the tax cuts they receive will trickle down to the middle class. Well, blessed are the mutants, for they protect our freedom from the evil communism. Blessed is the oil that sustains our military industrial complex and makes us, well, a shining city on the hill. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward is great on Wall Street. Success sells. Greed is good. Well, amen. Okay. That greed is good comment is Gordon Gecko from... Uh, what's the movie name? Is it called Wall Street? I guess it's called Wall Street. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, we are out of time. So we'll talk to the Wyman here. Uh, in the next one and she is a medic so we can probably buy some medical gear from her which would 
which would be really nice. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.